a California chef is now apologizing after getting burned for saying he would refuse service to customers who come in wearing a MAGA hat. The chef since deleting the tweets after making the threat, where he also compared the hat to a swastika and a white hood. Mm. CNN hosts talking about this issue last night after claiming they don't support these types of bans. They then said this. You can refuse service. You yeah. know, no shirt, no shoes, no service. How is this any different than the baker with the cake? Well, that right. was about refusing service uh, to a group of people that should be a protected class. Right. And unless you could argue that Trump supporters should be a protected class, I don't think you have much of an argument on that. I don't want to fall into the trap of underselling the significance of the trigger of the expression to people. Your clothing tells a story about who you are, what you think about, and what you represent. That hat means everything from, I would say, the beginning of the campaign, maybe even before. Maybe that hat uh, means uh, the Central Park Five to people. Maybe it means birtherism to people. Maybe it means, you know, Mexicans are rapists to people. Hmm. Or maybe it just means make America great again, Greg. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's like they share one brain. It really is sweet. <laughs> Look, we've talked about this before. It's, a, it's not really about a hat. It's about the expansion of a target by the media, and it, and it is the media's responsibility. Um, it's, not, it's, not, it's no longer about Trump, and it's no longer about voting for Trump, because if you're not part of the resistance, that's enabling. You're just like a uh, stormtrooper, right? Mm -hmm. Remember, you're just like a Nazi if you're not part of, you know, the thing is, if, if it's not about Trump, it's not about a hat, it's not about voting anymore, it's about just a, any kind of extension to Trump. So they've widened, they've widened the target now so that it's a cultural witch hunt. You can keep shaking your head, Juan, but we have so many examples of this. It's a cultural witch hunt for anybody, and it's sanctioned by people like Lemon to say, okay, if you're not part of our group, you're evil. This is really bad because we are demonizing half the country. Okay, so let me respond and say, the MAGA hat to a lot of people says, if you're not part of our group, you're evil. Make America great. And I think great. it is a provocative statement. Now, you know, on the face of it, I say it's a piece of clothing. Mm -hmm. It's my, the fact that I view it as a provocative piece but of clothing. But why do you do that? There. Why do you do that? I do think, you ever ask I think Don Lemon that? and I think uh, no, Cuomo you, what, were on where target. Where did you get the idea? Did the idea oh, the idea? Oh, no, I, I want to know. Oh, I'll tell you. How about David Duke wearing it? How about Cesar Sayak, the so, guy um, shooting people when they're driving around the Trump truck holding So when a racist drinks hat. orange juice, do you no. then say no more orange juice No, but me? I'm saying to I you, can't drink orange juice because a racist drank orange juice. No, but I'm saying I thought they made a very good point, Greg, when they said it's a protected class matter of discrimination. Protected class is by gender, by right. sex, by disability. You, well, it's not by political belief. Well, I'm, I'm okay with them saying, you know, the chef, he's paying his price. That's, that's the way the market should work. If you make a decision, yep. then right. you pay the price. So yeah. it's a free market decision. Yeah. It's like Nike saying, we're right. back in Colin Kaepernick right. right now. They made a decision. That, this guy apologized, by the way. You know what he apologized yeah. to? He apologized to the people who work at the restaurant and his co-investors be yeah, because it might cause someone not to come to the restaurant. Yes, he didn't he, apologize for saying didn't, MAGA had to provide. Yeah, he didn't. He, he claims that he's apologizing. He has the right not to serve people who he doesn't want to serve his restaurant. It's a private business. He can do what he wants. But Jesse, he didn't really apologize because he then went on to say in his apology that the hat symbolizes anger, hate, and violence. Right. So, you know, it's like own it or not. Well, if Kanye came in rocking the hat, I wonder <laughs> if he'd serve Kanye West. I think he would. And the difference between the Baker deal I mean, the baker, who's a Christian, when you're asked to bake a gay wedding cake and you're asked to say, you know, you know, God bless, you know, Dick and John, and there's two guys in the middle, that he was arguing that you're then complicit in making a cake that, you know, doesn't represent your Christian values. If you're just serving burgers and fries, you're not well, you're participating. Not, you're not forcing the chef to wear a MAGA hat. Yeah, exactly. It's a totally different analogy. And then, you know, as someone... With the authority on sweeping generalization. Of course. <laughs> I, I think that what CNN is doing is to, to say that this hat represents this to so many people. Permission to make an analogy? I would love to see if it. If you have a New England Patriots hat, to some people, oh, that's gonna make that might represent <laughs> cheating and Spygate and double homicide, Aaron Hernandez. <laughs> by, some, by some people, but, Jesse means him. You know, some, no, 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 no. <laughs> some people. To other people, that could just mean the Patriots and winning. So I think when, when this, this country tells you, don't wear this clo this clothing, drive this car, stop saying Merry Christmas, baby it's cold outside is about rape, this is the reason Donald Trump became elected. Yeah. Because people were so sick of people telling them what to do, how to think, and what to say. But Dana, 
the media continues to allow these comparisons to fly without any context. So they continue to say that it represents a KKK hood without any context about what the KKK actually did and saying that a MAGA hat is equal to that. Yeah, right. And I feel like that downplays yeah. the severity of what the KKK was and something that we've eradicated for the most part in this country and not something that we actually yeah. condone. Except for the, yearbooks. The, the, Except for the yearbooks for Democrats. General, the sweeping generalizations aren't necessarily just only Jesse's specialty. Yeah. Right? But this is, yeah. Um, yeah, what about is this, so. yeah, we, have, we have that too. <laughs> um, it's also another example of why grown people should get off Twitter and if you think that this is, that you're going to have to apologize to your partners and your cousins, just like Twitter is diminishing people's lives. Then we have to all get make off. a commit and get off it then. Well, we look, keep saying I this every week. <laughs> I think it's a good idea. <laughs> you know, we should. We should kill this business. For, uh, but we should leave. I don't know. They're using us. We're not getting paid to Wait, tweet. How am I going to promote my show? Hey. You know what? <laughs> nobody you on can, Twitter. Nobody on Twitter is, 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 listens to any promos. In fact, they hate the promotions. Really? Yeah. Okay. I about that last week was very funny. Yeah, it's like nobody <laughs> likes to be told oh, what to I do. But I saw it on Twitter.